Wow, guys, keep watching as we open up all these awesome Godzilla toys. We unbox them, and a lot of these are new figures from 2015, 2017, and 2018. They are totally awesome. Guys, great to see you today. Today I have a big, huge 50 gallon box full of Godzilla toys. Many of these are brand new. I have not opened them in a while. Uh, I've got 2018 and 2017 Godzilla toys. So let's go ahead and open these up. So this is uh, Earth Godzilla. I ordered this one from Japan. Here it says Godzilla 2018. Uh, looks like a bunch of writing in Japanese. It is uh, PVC by Bandai. So this is the Earth Godzilla, which is really cool. Its arms move, its legs move. It's got these big, huge blue spikes. They are soft. Uh, I do got one of these in Monster Arts, which I'll show you in a little bit. That one is a nice hard one. But this one is a really cool Earth Godzilla. Okay, our next 2018 one is another one I bought straight from Japan, from Bandai. This is the 2018 King Ghidorah, and it is totally awesome. Check this guy out. So let's first check out the tag. It does say 2018 in Japanese writing, Bandai. So this one, the wings will turn. It's flexible, so you can turn the wings so the silver is out like that. Or if you want, you could turn the wings so the gold is like that. Uh, if you turn it outward, uh, he does look a lot bigger. Here we have outward. Uh, no, it doesn't look like the uh, heads will uh, actually swivel or anything. But here you've got the big golden head. Here you've got the mecha head with some type of weapons on top and glowing green eyes and then you've got the other golden head here uh, this guy's legs do move there's Japanese writing on the bottom like you see his wings do pop out like that for posability I'm just really surprised his neck does not move huh you would think it would move so you could I guess you could spread the necks out like this if you hold it for a little bit it'll stay more spread out like that so really cool 2018 King Ghidorah and then next I've got a 2017 monster series this is Servo so here is the tag 2017 it says Servo right there Japanese writing, Godzilla. So Servum, this is a vinyl one. Uh, one. It's like one piece. I mean, nothing moves. Eyes, red, bunch of red eyes, big teeth. He's got uh, arms, legs, big, huge, really cool colored wings. I love the color of his wings. And they feel really cool. So there we have 2017 Servum. Okay, then here we have a 2018 Mecha Godzilla, which I bought straight from Japan. Like I said, I haven't opened these up, guys up in a while. I've had them sitting for a while. Uh, it seems like my viewers are not all that interested in these toys. So if you are interested, make sure you leave comments and let me know what battles and stuff you want to see. This says Mecha Godzilla 2004, but it's a 2018 toy. So it's a 2018 toy of the 2004 Mecha Godzilla. So 
It looks awesome. The head will turn 360 degrees. He's got big yellow eyes. His arms do move. This is a vinyl figure, but uh, a lot more movement than a lot of the Godzilla vinyl figures. Okay, his legs don't move. But he is really awesome looking. Wow. So this is actually the first time I opened it up, and I am super impressed. This is one of the coolest Mecha Godzillas I got. Okay, the next I have another new one. This is a 2016 Millennium Godzilla. Once again by Bandai. So this is another one I ordered straight from Japan. It looks awesome. He's got the big, huge, like purple spikes here. His arms uh, swivel here. They don't move there. So his arms swivel back and forth there, which is a little weird because he's like, Ooh, well, I don't care. I don't care. Come and get me. I'll eat you. And then legs swivel 360 degrees. So I actually have one of these, which I'll show you in a little bit, in the Monster Arts. So I do like that one a lot. But a uh, great paint job. I mean, for a vinyl figure, this one has great detail and movement. Big, huge, wicked looking teeth. Really awesome figure. Okay, then I have another awesome 2018 one. This is Violante. <laughs> this guy is wicked looking. So it does say 2018 Violante there. I mean, he is. Wow. He's like a mix of some type of mythical creature and alligator or something. So this guy's head will turn 360 degrees. The uh, tentacles move out and they have like teeth. They almost look like they are heads. So they move all the way back and forth like that. And I believe that's all the movement. So this is a Bandai one and Violante looks totally awesome and wicked wow that is cool you can see like flames here on his chest so that is one big cool looking violante figure for a vinyl figure it is totally awesome and then let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other godzilla figures i have because i have quite a few so here we have another uh king Ghidorah, let me see this is... Uh, it's not giving a date. So this is an earlier one. The wing, the move. He's got three heads. Ah, uh, this one, there is no mechanical heads. So they are all the golden heads. And two spiked tails. Then I have my favorite Godzilla. This is a big, huge NECA. Godzilla, I mean the movement on this guy is awesome. So it was made by NECA. The mouth does open and close. The head moves, the arms move, the legs uh, move. He moves at the knee, the feet move, and a big, huge, flexible tail here. Multi-jointed tail, so you can move it all around. This is probably the coolest Godzilla I have. And it has sound. So if you push the spike here, you get the sound. So this is one totally awesome Godzilla. And guys, the ones that weren't packaged, like the one I just showed you and the others I'm showing you, I do have full unboxings, reviews, and a lot of battles with them. Here is another one I have not opened up yet. Uh, I got this one a while ago. This is the Smash and Strike Godzilla. So, let me see. It says, try me. So, I guess if you push this, Oh, okay, so it's got like puppeteer movement if you push this. <laughs> it 
So that is cool. Let's see exactly what it does. It says smashing action. So you just have them smash stuff. So this is Bandai from Japan. And then I got some from the movie, Godzilla movie. Everyone loves to hate. This is one of the 1998 uh, Godzilla ones. Huh. Okay, so he's got like head movement there. And, oh, there you go. He roars, but not very loud. But uh, this is the 1998 one, which everyone loves to hate. Then I got a couple more of the 1998 ones. Uh, you know what? Maybe it was terrible, but I think the 1998 Godzilla ones are really intimidating looking. This one uh, comes with a uh, tank here. It's a remote control one, so if you push the tank, the tank makes a firing noise, and this Godzilla uh, rumbles and he roars. So that is a cool one. And then another 1998 Godzilla one, which I like because it's hilarious. This one has a big handle here you could hold. And he's got like spanking action. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, bad boy, bad boy, you've been a bad boy, bad boy. And then if you push the other button, he's got like side swiping action. So another spanking action. You push this one, he has stomping action with sound. And then one more button here is tail swing. So I don't care what you say about the 1998 Godzillas. This one is really cool. I mean, with all the different movement here, I mean, he is an awesome looking Godzilla. And looks like he is smashing the city street over there. So he's He's like, if you push both of these, you've been a bad boy! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> okay, then moving on, we got a 1998 uh, puppet from the 1998 movie. Let me see. Go ahead. And he does fit adult hands. And he roars. And he chomps. <laughs> I've got big teeth, I'm gonna eat King Kong! Roar. Okay, then I got some of my Monster Art Godzillas, which I keep wrapped up in here. This is, uh, I believe, the Millennium Edition uh, Monster Arts one. I, uh, when I opened this one, I actually did a stop motion video on him because he is awesome, the detail these Monster Art ones have. And the head movement, the arm movement, the look at the claws, the spikes on his back are super sharp. If you stepped on this guy at night, you would not be happy. Uh, realistic looking claws. I mean, these look like real bird claws. I mean, this is one awesome monster art Godzilla. And then we got another Monster Art Godzilla. This is the Earth Godzilla, I believe he was called, from 2017. And, you know, I bought this one used because the uh, person said it was mint. The only thing I found is the arms pop off uh, quite easily. So I think the person who owned this was doing stop motion animation videos with it. So. That is a little disappointing how easily the arms pop off, but this is one awesome looking Godzilla. I mean, these monster art ones do not skimp on details. And then I have another monster art ones. This is the Atomic Blast Godzilla. So this one he comes with, I think this one is actually holding uh, Mutal's head over here. So this one's cool. He's got the big uh, atomic flames on the like flames uh, on his spikes. You can see right through them. And then he's got the atomic blast piece over there. 
So once again, super great detail on this guy. And then our my biggest Godzilla. This is the by the Toho Company Limited. This guy is huge. I mean, this guy is literally over two feet tall. Big, huge mouth, moving arms, moving legs. I believe this is Jax Pacific that makes it. And here is a look at part of his tail. So once you put this guy's tail on, I mean, he's like. I think about three feet long. Okay, then I have a uh, Godzilla like puppet head from like a uh, Godzilla cartoon. I ordered this one actually overseas. And then moving on from him, I've got some more uh, Bandai uh, like Godzilla. So this is like a flame one. Really cool. And then I've got some NECA ones too. NECA actually made very affordable Godzillas that, in my opinion, I mean, they were pretty comparable to Monster Arts at about a fifth of the cost. So here's one. You do have a little overrun here, but movement all over the place with this one. Like I said, uh, I have uh, unboxed all of these that are open and I've done full reviews and battles of them so check out my Godzilla playlist and here we got another awesome NECA Godzilla I believe this one's NECA yeah so another awesome NECA Godzilla one with movement all over the place I mean these guys are totally awesome and yet another NECA one. This is uh, like the classic Godzilla, I believe, from like the 1920s. You can see he is in black and white, just like he was in black and white in the movie. So, really cool looking Godzilla. Almost a little comical looking. And then I have a uh, vinyl King Ghidorah here with uh, movement on the head. So this one is a mecha, I believe it's a mecha King Ghidorah because it's got the mechanized head there. And then I have a uh, earlier mecha Godzilla that I bought. This is a uh, 2016 mecha Godzilla. So this guy is really awesome looking too. And then I also got another Vinyl Mecha Godzilla from Bandai. This guy is 2015. So I guess they remake these guys like every year or something. Hmm. Not really sure. So I got the 2015, 2016, and I believe the 2018 Mecha Godzillas. So they are really cool. And then I have uh, NECA, I believe, huh, wow, I don't remember which guy this is. I do apologize, guys. I mean, I got so many Godzillas, I can't keep track of all of them. If you guys know which one this is, let me know in the comment section. Wow, that is one evil-looking Godzilla, I mean, with the zombie eyes. And then I have, uh, I believe this is a NECA Godzilla. It's like a purple one with a tail that's about three times the size of the actual figure. So it is like purple and black. Does not have movement on the head, but it is still really cool. A nice, solid, solid heavy figure. And then I have uh, NECA. This is like a red. Godzilla. <laughs> I love this guy. Look at the flames coming out of his spikes. Same thing with this guy. The tail is, well this guy the tail is about twice the size of the actual figure. But this guy does open his mouth and it's really wicked looking. And this guy's another NECA Godzilla with the tail that's three times the size. This is like a red and black one with really evil looking teeth. I mean, this guy is 
super intimidating looking. Wow. Cool. And then I got a cool Godzilla from, uh, it's like a board game you set up and you could have Godzilla actually destroy the city. I do got a full review of that one if you want to check it out. It's really cool and he does shoot flames from his mouth. And then I've got some different versions of Godzilla. Uh, from, uh, I believe, the 2015 movie where he's coming out of the sea. This is two of the different uh, itinerations, iteration, I believe, of Godzilla. So, really cool looking. And then these ones I actually bought from China. These are awesome because I couldn't find these anywhere. These, it's like... 20 Lego Godzillas. You've got like different colored ones. All black and red, red, orange, green, blue. So I got a whole bag of these. I do got a full review of these and they are cool. And then moving on, I got a bunch of the Godzilla transforming eggs. So these ones do open up and transform into Godzilla and uh, figures that he battles against. Like you got King Ghidorah, you got Mothra, another King Ghidorah, I believe a Mecha Godzilla over there. Uh, wow, there's just a lot of them. And these ones, uh, I do open them in stop motion animation in that video. So you got a Godzilla, Ghidorah. So a lot of really cool transforming it. We got some NECA miniature Godzillas here. I did a stop motion video on those. I got a bag of the little NECA action figures. These were actually like blind bags, but they are super detailed. So check that out because that is a really cool video. And then I also have a city set with Godzilla over here where G Godzilla actually goes ahead and destroys the city. It's got a uh, Mothra in it too. Uh, this one I did a stop motion video of Godzilla battling villains and destroying the city. And then I also have a bunch of Godzilla, uh, 10 Godzilla blind bags I opened up. These ones are Godzilla UV figurines. They are really cool. They're like finger puppets. Then I got a bunch more NECA miniature Godzillas over here. And then finally I have a Godzilla King Caesar here. So he is really cool looking too. And guys, I do that. Like I said, I unboxed all these. I got about 30 Godzilla videos, some really cool battles and stuff. But I need your opinion what you guys want to see guys because i really don't know what godzilla videos you want to see what battles all of that put that in the comment section because i do follow your suggestions so what you suggest is what i'm going to make wow guys that was totally awesome if you guys enjoyed these godzilla toys go ahead and subscribe to see more fun videos and also I do got over a thousand videos. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Scooby-Doo, and a lot more. Check out the playlist on my channel. Or if you just want to see more fun Godzilla videos, check out the Godzilla playlist at the end of this video. You guys are awesome, and I will see you soon. And today's secret word is the word Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.